Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Real Sociedad career mode. And look at this. We've got Barcelona in the Supercoppa semi-finals. Uh, regarding the transfer window, of course, we made a signing in the last episode. We brought in Buta. Buta? Don't know how to say his name, but he looks really good. And we have not had any offers coming in for Zaldua just yet. I'm hoping to get around... Anywhere between 12 and 16 million, I think I would happily take. He's got a release clause of almost 20, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and someone will just come and activate that release clause. But for now, I'm not sure what else I'm going to be doing. I've been reading your comments. I've been checking the Discord. Um, a couple of new faces from yesterday's episode, so thank you for that. And uh, thank you for coming out to the streams as well. We've been playing a lot of uh, games on stream. We played some Ultimate Team last night. I've built a full Arsenal squad, past and present. And actually, in the next stream, we're going to try and get an icon. I think maybe Sol Campbell, maybe Perez. So do click the link in the description to come over to my Twitch. But now, let's jump into the game against Barcelona. So, unfortunately, we do have an injury to Diaz. So he's not available. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I should try something different anyway. I was thinking of going with a 5-2-3 trying to make sure I don't concede too easily against this Barcelona side. I'm actually going to try something probably a little bit stupid here. Tavares at right centre-back. You know, he's pretty tall. Um, although he's typically a bit more of an attacking player, I want to see how he gets on there. And that means, of course, we can give Buta his debut. So, Llorente in the middle with Torres on the left. And uh, otherwise, it's a very similar team. The, the player that gets sacrificed is Erdegaard. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm quite tempted, actually, to do that. Shall I give it a go? Why not? What, what have I got to lose? It's Barcelona. They're going to most likely beat me anyway. I might as well try something different. And uh, let's see if we can get into the final. The day that EA get the new camp back in the game will be a fantastic day. It's such a shame we don't have it. And it won't be in FIFA 21 either. By the way, who stayed up to watch EA play last night and was severely disappointed? Um, I can't talk about the stuff I know, but there is more news coming soon. So if you were disappointed, like many, many people were, that there wasn't too much about FIFA, just give it a couple of weeks. There will be more information coming out. But uh, unfortunately, that news will not include the new camp coming back. I believe they are still working with Pez. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think Pez still have the rights to the new camp and the Barcelona team in that way. So it's a bit of a shame. Hopefully... In the next couple of years, EA will be able to get that back. Oh, that was almost a really good pass. But anyway, not a good start. They already hit the post. It was Griezmann as well. Let's see what our new signing is all about. Let's see what his pace is like. Just run straight through the middle. He's up against Dembele. That's probably not very fair because Dembele is really quick as well. But you could see he's got a real burst of pace about him. He's very, very quick. I believe he's the fastest player in the team. Is he faster than Zaracho? Let's have a look. Zaracho is 96 sprint speed, 95 acceleration, 97, 97. He is officially the fastest player in the team. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize he was that quick, but yeah, he, he really is rapid. That's a great tackle. Oh, Marino's got that off Messi. Let's see if we can push forward here into Porto. Instant pass inside to Jovic over the top for Porto. No, got a little touch on it. How has Griezmann done that? No! Oh, they've hit the post again. Jeez, we are living life dangerously right now. Two times Barcelona really should have scored there. How did Griezmann get around me? I, I just don't know. And then we've lost it again. This formation is not working. Wait, I thought the referee was on my team then. He's got a yellow shirt on, game. Come on. How's that fair? But uh, already I can tell we're struggling. Tavares at right centre-back? <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. Jovic is having to come so deep to get the ball, which means we don't really have an outlet. So, yeah, this this system doesn't seem to be working, but we're going to keep trying here because actually, hang on. Marino's in here on his right foot. Oh, hello. And our first chance ends with a goal. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We should be losing this game by at least two goals, and we're now winning it. And it's on his weaker foot right into the top left corner. Wasn't he at Newcastle? What were they thinking not signing him permanently? What happened there? I swear Marino has actually... He's turned into a really, really solid player. And he's one of my best players for sure. Nice. Erdegaard skips through. Oh! Well, Yarzabal's in. No way! 
Oh my god, why couldn't I do this in the league against Barcelona or Real Madrid? Why, why couldn't I do this? Just a few passes to split through them. Maybe the system is working. Maybe I've just got really lucky. I don't know. This is a ridiculous pass from Erdegaard. He skips through, I think it was um, De Jong. And then Oyarzabal just opens up, slots it past the Stegen. And right before half time, we're beating Barcelona 2-0. Right. Okay. Well, it's not like they've put up a weak team. This is the team they used against us in the league. So they really want to get this cup as well. It's not like they've taken it easy. Oh, well done, Tavares. He did well there. That's half time. I just want to go ahead and show you the stats. I mean, they've had two shots. Both of them hit the post. We've had two shots and both of them have gone in. That's hilarious. We've been super, super lucky in this game so far. How are we winning this 2-0? I would be absolutely fuming if I was the Barcelona manager. Tell you what, guys, putting Erdegaard in midfield was a great call so far because whenever I get the ball in that position, he's just so good. He's so creative. He picks out a pass so easily. Dominguez can do it too, but just not at the same level. I think Erdegaard might be the best young attacking midfielder I've used. And what is that from Griezmann? Just hits it straight at my defender. Let's give that to Jovic. Good first touch. Over to Oyarzabal now over the top. Oh, long lay. That was really good defending. He recovered so well there. Now here's Griezmann. Barcelona coming on the attack. Tavares steps in. The youngster can play as a centre-back. Clearly, he's got the, the skill to do it. And that was going to be offside. Oh, no. Now here come Barcelona again. Every time Messi gets the ball, I'm just expecting something magic. Here he is. Can't get the tackle in. Oh, I've just taken him out. That'll be a yellow card for Pau Torres. De Jong plays it to Jordi Alba. This is what Barcelona do. They just pass it around. They pick you apart. They wait for a gap. And then bang, they're in. Here's Messi again. Is he going to get the shot away? Into Dembele. But it is saved by the keeper. We live. We live. What? What kind of deflection is that? Oh, my God. The luck is running out, guys. That was the most crazy deflection. It just went straight to him in a dangerous area. Messi with the corner. Long lay scores. Okay. We've got 20 minutes here. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to do it now. And I'm not using this formation. I think I want to go with like a defensive 4-3-3. Uh, let's go with 4-3-3 defend. Jovic, who has about poor two. Let's take out Erdegaard and bring in Zaracho for the pace. Tavares on the right. And let's bring in Dela Cruz as well. Is that going to be enough? Why not change the whole midfield three? We need energy. We need stamina. We need everything we can get. Let's make three changes right there. Buta was good, by the way. Seems like a very decent right back. Very good going forward. And, of course, that pace is so deadly. Here's Tavares inside to Iazabal. Go on, get the cross in. Jovic! Oh, Zakaria, you just had to, didn't you? I was about to pass it to the referee. So confusing, that. The game doesn't realise I'm wearing yellow because, of course, it's meant to be a green, isn't it? Oh, no. I mean, oh, oh, go on. No, chance is gone. Still around 10 minutes left here. We've got to defend well here. I'm, I'm, I'm so close to the final. Oh, are you kidding me? I made the tackle and the game's just like, no, 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 no. We want, we want to give De Jong a chance to shoot here. <laughs> I literally made the tackle. It would have worked anywhere else on the pitch, I swear. Here we go. Into injury time, though. De Jong whips it in. Yes. Just smack it out. Get rid Okay, that's going to waste a solid minute or so here. They need to play it forward right now. They're going to run out of time. You've got to love it when the injury time just disappears like that. Get in there. We're into the final. Unlucky Barcelona. If only I could play like that in the league. And we wouldn't be so far behind Atletico Madrid. Still, though, to be fair, we should have lost that game. Um, <laughs> we got lucky. I shouldn't forget that. But um, anyway, Zaldua. 11 million euro offer coming in from Everton. Um, whilst I don't actually care too much and I, I'm tempted just to accept it, we will try and negotiate this. So let's do it. And uh, let's try and get maybe 13, 14. Come on then, let's, let's go. Ancelotti, how are you feeling today? You feeling generous? You want to give us some more money? Uh, propose new transfer fee. I'm going to ask for 14. And let's see if he's feeling kind. Go on, go on. Look, look, listen here, Ancelotti. Zaldua is one of the best right backs, one of the most elite right backs of our generation. Okay? 11 million is not enough. Okay? 
We're going to go ahead and counter one more time. Just do it. 13. 13 million and you can have him. He will improve your defense massively. Instantly. And you can have him right now for 13 million. Yeah, I thought so. I'm glad he listened to me. I talked sense into him. Hopefully he will accept the offer. Um, I don't know how much wages he will ask for in the Premier League, but it'll be considerably more than what he's on right now. So there is a chance that he will decline it. But um, if he goes, that means we are back down to the the uh, the normal squad size. Ugh, can't speak. The normal squad size that we should have. And um, I think that'll be the window done, really. Not the most exciting. Wait. The Super Copper's that quick, is it? Just like that. I don't know too much about the Super Copper, um, but we're in the final and it's within a couple of days. So it's not like a normal competition, that's for sure. Right, okay. And we're up against the best team in my career mode so far, Atletico Madrid. Wow. I've decided not to change the lineup for this one, or at least not the system. I think the 4 2 3 1 will probably do best against this Atletico side. Uh, Isaac does come in. We've also got um, Llorente coming in for the injured Diaz, of course. And I went with Baron Echea on the left. So we'll see how we get on. They are most likely going to be harder than Barcelona were in that last game. So I'm not really expecting anything from this. But of course, I'm going to try. Oh, hello. Erdegaard's in. Just chip it in. Oh, 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 OK. Right. We're off to a good start. A little bit different to the Barcelona game when we almost conceded within the first few moments. But we've scored. Someone on the bench is happy. You've seen this. Got a guy in a tracksuit just cheering. Um, this is a really nice goal, though. Erdegaard just dinks it in, and then Isaac scores a lot of goals like that. I feel like he's a he's more of a poacher than Jovic. Jovic gets more, I want to say, solo goals. You know, he gets things going himself, whereas Isaac's just always on the end of things. And that's, that's fine. Sometimes I need that. Well, another good thing is there's no Morata. They have gone with Aspas and uh, Felix. So no Morata is definitely a good thing. I will never forget that game we had against Atletico Madrid where he scored some absolute beauties against me. Oh, that's a lovely ball. First time cross. I mean, would it be nice if it was for Isaac and not one of my smallest players um, with Erdegaard running in like that. But honestly, as soon as I noticed they didn't have Morata, I instantly felt just a little bit, a little bit calmer, <laughs> a little bit safer. But you just never know because Aspas is really good as well. He's actually one of their top scorers. Is that an injured player? Nope. Gaia has got up. It's all good. Lovely. Look at this. Tons of space for Gaia here. Edge of the box for Erdegaard. Why, why, why did I shoot straight away? All I had to do was control that. Just take a touch. I'm just an idiot. Oh, they're in. Here's Felix. Oh, Llorente. Wow, that was really nice. Well, we're now in the second half. So far, so good. We're 45 minutes away from winning. A bit of silverware. Not too bad. I'm actually uh, pretty excited about that. It's the first time, right? So uh, let's hope that we can hold on here. Atletico Madrid were definitely the better team in that first half. But again, just like against Barcelona, we've just managed to, to score and, and not concede. And we've just got very lucky, you know. Here's Erdegaard, though. Through for Isaac. Oh, Hermoso's not been able to cover that. Oh, no. The keep nope, the keeper stayed on his line. Oh, my God. Yep, Hermoso, 99 sprint speed, 99 acceleration, just bang, straight in there. I thought the keeper was coming out. Oh, wow, it came off me as well. I was sure the keeper was about to start running, so I, I slowed down, thinking that if I had a heavy touch, it'd be uh, the chance would be over. But no, I should have just stuck with my gut there and maybe just carried on running. Oh, we're in again, though. What a ball. Baron Nechea. Oh, my God, what the hell? How did he do that? How did he do that? I think I knocked it over him, but he, he, he must have clipped his hip or something. Atletico Madrid have had 62% of the ball and four shots in the last, what was it, five, ten minutes, something like that. So, um, yeah, they've, they've been pretty damn good. But somehow we're still winning, and that's all that matters at the moment. Oh, look at the space here. Into Odegaard. Ah, the pass was bad, though. That's where I needed a right-footed player just to slot that one in behind. Let's make a change anyway. I think it's time. We're going to go ahead and throw in Zaracho. Let's rest Erdegaard. He's already getting a little bit tired there. Let's bring in Dela Cruz for Dominguez. And let's bring in the new signing as well. Buta coming in at right back. Putting a through ball. Oh, Isaac with a good first touch as well. 
No, Hermoso, he just knew I was going to do it. He knew the fake shot was coming. Maybe I should have just hit it. A low driven shot with his left foot. He's got the five-star weak foot. It probably would have been on target. Not long to go now. Oh, no. No, no, no. I tried to attack that. No. Should have been a penalty. They've scored anyway. Ah, of course, with five minutes left, this should have been a pen, possibly. Actually, I don't know. We, we blocked it and then it happened. I don't know. But either way, completely unmarked. And they're back in the game. That's frustrating. Okay. At least we've made our changes... I'm not sure if this goes straight to penalties or if it's going to be extra time, but we've got fresh legs. In fact, we might have time to get a goal, though. You know, we still could. Baron Achea now. He's got pace. Whips it in. Zaracho's there. Isaac was there as... Wait, what? We've got a pen! What? No. I mean, I'm happy, but I'm also a little bit disappointed that this has happened. Unless it is bad. Well, oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Well, first, I've got to score it. I'm going bottom right corner. Go on, son. Go on. Yes, come on. That should be it. I don't think it was a pen. I think it was soft, personally. But I'm, I'm happy because we've probably won it now. That's not a foul. This referee's mad. Absolutely mad. If that's sending off, I won't be happy. Okay, it's a yellow. That's fine. Last few moments of the game. And, of course, the AI just... <sighs> when are they going to fix those stupid free kicks that the AI do where they just hit it so hard? It's pointless. They never do anything with those. And then they've wasted it again. GG, Atletico Madrid. You are beatable. We can beat them, just not in the league, basically. But, guys, it's our first bit of silverware. I'm over the moon about that. Unlucky Simeone. Nice little respectable handshake there. Gundogan's not happy, but we've done it. The sad reality is this could be the only trophy we actually win because although there is the Spanish Cup, I don't think we're going to win the league. It's, it's very, very difficult with Barcelona, Madrid, Atletico Madrid, you know, pretty, pretty much going unbeaten. And then the Champions League, I don't know about that. But for now, we will enjoy lifting the Super Copa. There he is, Oyarzabal, captain, lifting his first trophy under my management. And we've done it. I mean, I'm I'm still pretty happy with that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ajax have activated the release clause, yet I've already accepted an offer from Everton, and it's another 5 million, another 6 million. Oh, man. That is gutting. I cannot believe that's happened. Well, let's hope he rejects the offer from Everton and goes to Ajax instead, because we will get some more money. But anyway, into training. Munoz and Lenormand still in training at the moment. We're trying to get them both to around the 80 mark. Come on, don't go to Everton. Don't go to Everton, please. Ah, oh, damn it. That's so frustrating. We lost out on about five, six million there, but it is what it is. He's gone to Everton for 13 million. It's, it's not great, but whatever. 10 and a half million in the transfer budget. So that puts us on almost 20 million after the transfer window is pretty much finished for us. So I'm actually not too unhappy about that. That's pretty decent. Uh, let's have a look at the league, league table just before we get into the next game. Atletico Madrid still unbeaten, of course. 18 wins from 18. We are sitting quite pretty in fourth at the moment. We are a couple of points ahead of Betis there. Five points. Four points behind Real Madrid, though. And, of course, uh, a little bit further behind Barcelona. But we're, we're still kind of in the top three, kind of. We can do it. Um, but I don't think this season is going to be that much of an improvement because, once again, all the other clubs have strengthened as well. It's it's not just us. Malaga are in the bottom three. They got smashed by Barcelona 5-0. They've now been beaten 3-1 by us. Jovic scored in the second minute. We were 3-0 up and then, unfortunately, we couldn't keep the clean sheet. But still, it's another three points. And would you look at that? Some more good news. Ruben Diaz is now back in training. He won't be fit for the next game, but still... At least he's back. We've missed him. Munoz is now 78 rated. I've not used him too much, but when I have, he's he's pretty decent. The Norman is almost halfway to 80 as well. That's good. And he wants to play in this game. So we're going to use the second team against Tuesca here in the Spanish Cup. We should be winning this, really, against Tuesca. And we do. A 2-0 win. Dela Cruz and guess who? Yanazai. 
This guy is on fire at the moment. I feel so bad. He's got five appearances and six goals. Baron Nechea's got 22 appearances and two goals. Porto's got five goals. I mean, Yanazai has actually been our best player. In terms of match ratings, his average is... It doesn't actually say really in total, but you can see in the league, two games, five goals. He's got a 9.6 average rating there. Oh, he does have a total at the bottom, 8.8. .8. That's actually mental. What have I been doing? Maybe the CPU are better with him than I am, because whenever I use him, I don't seem to get much success. Oh, crap. Um... Ah, oh, this is one of those moments I said this would happen and that I would probably leave it because if I just continuously fix these problems when they arise, as in if I go straight into a contract negotiation and give them a new contract, it, it's just not fair. I, I think I'm actually going to have to let this happen. Otherwise, I'm just going to get abused in the comments. People saying, what's the point? Bayern have paid the 59.5 million release clause for Marino. How much is he worth? Because Marino has been so good for us. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. Where is he? Marino. Uh, let's go to financial. Oh, God. He's worth so much more than that. So much more than that. Look what his ultimate team card would be. 75, 83, 81, 85, 80, 80. I mean... <sighs> oh, my God. Am I actually letting this happen? I think I should. Otherwise, it's just, it's boring. I've got, I've got to have a challenge here and there. So we will let him go and we will have to bring in someone new. Another midfielder. It's just never ending. Well, I've added some names. I think all three, all four, sorry, of these players could do very well. I think the most realistic would be Mark Rocker here. I think he would actually replace him quite well. Uh, oh, I'm so stressed out now. I can't believe that happened. It's just out of the blue. That's the bad things about release clauses. But I think I owe it to the series. You know, I'm, I'm going to let this one happen. It's out of my control now. Marino is leaving. We need to bring someone else in. We've got Carlos Alenia as well. Not very defensive, though. Marino, for me, is kind of like a defensive midfielder. So I'm looking at Sansei as well and thinking it's probably not right to bring him in. So we've got Valverde who would be very expensive, a release clause of 73 million and an incredible wage. Or we go for someone like Mark Rocker. Um, he's got a real face as well. I don't know. I will let you guys leave comments. Tell me in the Discord what you think I should do. And if you want to join the Discord, make sure you sub on Twitch or pledge on Patreon. Both links down below. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it because I don't want to make the decision. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And in the next episode, we will sort this out. Another new midfielder coming into Real Sociedad. I mean, it's, it's still kind of exciting. Someone new.